Hey guys, it's time for the video. Today I'll be bringing you kind of like a city update and a uh, Lego room update type of video and more of like an overview of everything in the Lego room plus the city. Um, so this might be a two-part video. We'll see uh, just how time is. If it gets past uh, 15 minutes, then I'll cut it off at just the city because that's what I'll start with. But yeah, this uh, hopefully one video, but probably series um, will go over the Lego City in depth, all of my other sets that are not in the Lego City in depth, go through all my parts, more sets, including um, Halo, and um, yeah, just everything that's in here. So without further ado, let's start with the city here. Um, so yeah, well, I guess we'll just go through an overview. There's no real updates to give on the city. I don't think I've really done anything, just a few other a few like figure additions, but other than that, I don't know if there's been anything. I'm actually not sure. I may not have shown the bank yet. The bank might be new. Um, but yeah, so there's all this pirate stuff here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it here, but I gotten it from a little like like pack from a VIP thing at the Lego store um, when I went like a month or two ago. Um, so I didn't really know what to do with it. And because this area over here is just like water, um, I put it over here, um, including the shark that does come with it. So, uh, but yeah, the bank. So this, I do not think I've shown. If I have shown, then okay, I'll just be overviewing it again. But um, yeah, we'll go through the bank real quick. So this is the front. I mean, it, it looks kind of like a prison, but you know, I, I mean, running out of very like specific pieces and I'm really only trying to use parts that are like in my uh, collection. I don't want to have to go out and like buy a bunch of stuff. Um, for uh, buildings or projects that I do in the city. There probably won't be really any like new projects in the city um, until I like, I don't know. I, I mean, I really don't know when there would be a new project because there's no more space. So um, we'll go over that at the end, like of, of like the future of the city. But so we'll go over the bank right now, uh, just because I don't know if I've looked at it. There's a lot of stuff on the top, just because of me trying to use like random ass parts that I have like one or two of in my collection. Uh, trying to get them like out of the collection basically so we'll open up the bank put the roof down there it's it's uh yeah you take off the roof very very uh i don't know amazing so we got the interior of the bank here you got just some random area where people stand then you have the uh let me just open the the vault door you got the counter back here where uh the bank tellers can work uh then you got the vault door here um, I did have, I had to use these, um, I wish they were gray, but I don't have any gray ones, um, and tan just so it could, like, slide against the wall and not get stuck, because a regular brick, because it has a harsh, like, a sharp edge, we get stuck on the wall. Um, and then we open up, the vault obviously is very empty, but because of the way the door opens, I didn't really think about this when I made it, it gets stuck right here on this, uh, on, the, on, on here, and if it opens even more, there's still really no space like for someone like a figure to be able to stand like right there and look in at all the money and stuff. So that's kind of where the, the bank gets stuck when it comes to the vault. Um, I might do like a smaller vault door at some point, but as of now, it's just going to stay as this little random thing. It might just, I mean, I might, if I get a, the right door, I might just make the vault door just like a, a regular sized door. Um, instead of this like massive like vault door. So then like there can be actual space in the vault like for a figure to go in. So yeah, that's that's it for the bank. So put the uh, roof back on. There are these pillars here, which I like the design of, but because of all this pirate stuff, you can't really see them. So that's why I might get rid of the pirate stuff because you can't really see these pillars, which I think are a cool little addition to the bank um, that I was, you know, happy with adding. But yeah, I'm not, I don't think I'm really gonna press the hole. Uh, roof down now uh, because it'll take too long but so uh yeah that i think is the only new uh, like addition when it comes to like a building in the city i think everything is about the same um but i guess we will see as we go over um so over here this is like a little like memorial with some war memorial or something um with this cannon here it did come with the pirate stuff and since i had space next to the bank i was like well i'll just put a little like memorial thing right here um, and so, yeah, just got some people admiring the uh, memorial there. So nothing too special. Um, then we just got a couple of bus stops here uh, made out of some parts from the 
uh, road plates where it's like supposed to like come out and flatten onto like a floor or something, but obviously I'm not doing that. So um, have a ton of them as extra. So just use them as the roofs for these bus stops. But yeah, very simple, literally just like windows at the back, doors on the side and then open at the front. Um, so nothing too spectacular there. Um, and we got the, the some trees over here. One's on fire, but that did that that comes in a set, so I'm just leaving it as is and not like taking off the fire just because um I don't know, just to keep it accurate with the set and so I don't lose the, the fire pieces. Um but yeah. So here we go into kind of like a park or like a recreational type of area here. We got a hot dog stand and a balloon stand there. Uh so just a grassy area where people can hang out. Uh then we have like a little like uh, this is kinda tilted we have a little like display like advertisement for the mclaren elva there uh, so this is the polybag version of it so just made like a little like advertisement so people can see like a miniature version of the car um and then see like if they want to buy it so then we come to this is kind of like office building i don't really know what it's meant for but it's here I think it looks pretty good. It's definitely the best building in my city overall. Um, definitely better than the bank. The bank's kind of just like miscellaneous parts and random ass stuff. Um, but the bank is kind of a throwback to an old bank I'd done in the past where the, the B on the front for bank, um, that's a throwback to an old bank I'd made like a long time ago. And same with the orange accents. Um, but yeah, no one really understand that because it was so long ago, but that's just what that is. So back to this office building, just got some random light here. Uh, these were our mostly all just parts that, again, I had one-offs of, so I just wanted to use them. Uh, so that's there. Uh, got your trash cans and recycling there. Um, and so this building does come with a removable uh, roof and removable uh, second floor. So if I could just get that off there. One hand. Uh, so yeah, nothing really in here, just random stuff. And as you can see, these are a lot of like printed and stickered tiles that don't go with any sets uh, from like old friend sets that were my sisters and just miscellaneous stuff but they get covered by the roof so you don't see them when the roof is closed but yeah there's nothing in here there's not even stairs to get up here because i'm not that good of a, a builder i don't really yeah I'm, I'm, I'm not that good to where i know how to put stairs in one of these things um but yeah that is it for this roof's all closed up nice and good um, and then the second floor does come off. Uh, it's kind of like partially off right now. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. I didn't break it. Uh, I did have to remove some plates that held it down because it was like ripping apart before. But yeah, the uh, bottom side, it looks nice with the windows. I like how much, how many windows there are and uh, that kind of aspect. But it's uh, nothing special down here. Nothing, nothing at all going on. Um, I don't know what if anything, I'm gonna do there um, in this building. But uh, yeah, let's just close that back on there nice and tight. This side doesn't really want to close on there very well, but I'll figure that out later. So anyways, let's move on. Uh, we have kind of like a uh, bus station. This is the main bus station. It's kind of weird. There are like three bus stations literally in a line. So there's you know not really much reason to get on the bus. You just walk over, but I guess, uh, I didn't really know what else to do there. So bus station just got a couple parking spots. Uh, there's this like electrical box I'd made a while back and I've kept it ever since because I thought it looks pretty good. Uh, a bunch of like electrical details behind here because we've got the gas station. Uh, this is for the airport. Got a few different cops. That's the one thing about this, this city is that there is a lot of like police presence around. So nobody is getting away with anything in the city. Um, so then we move over to the gas station here. Um, so this it was a set, I don't remember how many years ago, maybe like four years ago or so. But um, this wall on the back, it used to be open, but I added the wall on the back just to close it off so it uh, looked good. Um, but yeah, nice, simple gas station there. You even got an electrical pump even before Tesla was big. Um, then we move over to kind of like the main part of the city because you have like this this road that leads up to the city. And then you have like the main drag, a kind of like a main street type of thing. Um, but yeah, this is uh, the, the main area of the city. You have the police station here. This is definitely the best police station or one of the best police stations they've ever done, in my opinion. Uh, definitely looks 
really, really good. And I like the design elements they did with this police station. Um, but so I tried to keep it nice and simple in this kind of modern, but like government feel um, that, that it has going on. So left some grass openings in the front. I just have police guarding it out in, in front, have some kind of like uh, memorialized uh, stuff with the 50 cal there on those sandbags, and then have some sandbags that would actually be in use. Some little statue things, garbage cans, uh, then got the cell tower next to it. This is a custom build of mine. Uh, it, it, it's okay. Um, I think it could look better, but it, you know, for my skill, it, it looks pretty good. Got some cops guarding it. Um, then there's a zombie back there about to start the apocalypse. Uh, but yeah, the police station uh, looks good. Got some snipers on the top. Added a satellite dish up there. One thing is, is that since it's next to the wall, the helicopters kind of, you know, get get stuck hanging on the edge. Like, I don't know how this thing does not fall, but it, it does not somehow. Um, yeah, we will move on from that. Just got a whole bunch of cars through here. Literally just like crammed in here. Like this this Corvette is, is yeah, it's, it's kind of, it, it, it doesn't look that great. But that's the struggles of the city. This road leading into it, I kind of wanted to do something where, like, there was not many cars on this road uh, coming into the city, but, like, inside, like, the main section, it's, like, jam-packed. Like, nobody can get anywhere. Um, but the only problem is, is that some of these speed champions are just a little wide for these roads. Um, so, I mean, in the perfect scenario, if I had, like, all the money in the world to spend on my city, I would have made the roads a lot better. Probably would have done Mills roads instead of the uh, road plates. Um, just because I feel like those look better and they'd have been wider for the speed champions to be able to fit. But that's just uh, the world we live in. You can't have unlimited money um, or everyone would just buy everything. But then we move on to the hospital. Uh, this hospital is quite jam-packed because there's a lot of like nurses and, and doctors in here. Um, a lot of different cops as well. Um, but I don't like to put my minifigures really inside the buildings just because like you can't see them when they're in the buildings. And since these buildings are stationary, I'm not going to be moving them anywhere else. I, I don't know. It just didn't really make sense to put them in there. And it's like, you're not going to get to see them. So the way you can see the figures and have access to them is them being outside. Um, so kind of got the nurses and doctors all meeting around. But the ambulances park just, uh, I mean, there was the one guy brought in on a wheelchair. And so they're discussing possible surgery options or something. Then we move over to the fire station where we have a cop up at the top, a sniper looking down over the traffic there just to make sure nobody's doing anything wrong. Um, and yeah, this fire station, it's kind of like a little bit of a modular fire station in that like technically you're supposed to have a couple parts. They're actually over there on top of those uh, part storage bins that are supposed to make the fire station kind of curve around in like a semicircle, but um, I removed those just so that it could be square up to um, the rest of the, the like the roads here. Um, and uh, yeah, so I rearranged it a little bit. There's a garage back there, and then the uh, main fire truck garage there, and then you got the office center there. Then we move, we just have a little like coffee shop area, rest stop, where you can look at a map, grab a newspaper, and get some coffee. Then we have this greenhouse thing. So this actually, this greenhouse came from an old uh, Harry Potter Hogwarts set, but uh, the rest of the Hogwarts was kind of like gone because it was given to me by my cousin uh, a few years ago. And basically like half to uh, three quarters of the uh, Hogwarts was missing. So didn't have that to build, but um, had the greenhouse in full. So built that it is missing a window or something there. So one day I'll have to find that or buy it or something uh but yeah i just got some uh, equipment over here um just waiting to be used um but yeah that's uh that's it with that not, nothing too special then we move into the military base now it's not the most detailed because what i would do if it was obviously the perfect world was i would tile the entire uh thing off create lines and create like boundaries for uh where vehicles park and stuff like that but Obviously, we don't live in that perfect world, so uh, gotta just deal with what we got, but very simple, uh, nothing spectacular with the military base, just an area to have some of the equipment and troops uh, hang out, because if they're just roaming around the city, that'd look kind of weird, it'd be like it's martial law, which kind of feels like it'd be martial law, because there's literally cops just everywhere in the city, but yeah, so anyhow, 
the base, there hasn't really been anything like, like new vehicles or anything, but I did add a few figures. So we'll just start up at the front. We got the SWAT guys just guarding the front, just in case someone was to uh, try to run in and uh, do something uh, bad. But um, I guess the city is technically United States because I live in the United States, so why not? So we got a U.S. flag there. Uh, we got some Humvees here. Uh, one of them has a turret, and then one of them just uh, for holding boxes. Um, then we got a couple transport trucks here having some boxes in the back. Got a police helicopter over there with all the SWAT guys walking over there. I'm hoping to build and uh, make some more SWAT guys in the future. I'm supposed to be able to make 10 more because I have 10 more sets of armor, but um, it's just hard to find the specific torsos I'm looking for. Um, you know, I mean, in my last Bricklink order, I didn't do a YouTube video on it, but in my last order, I'd order from like four or five sellers and not one of them had even one of those torsos. So I don't know. Um, I guess that'll take a little bit, but one day it'll, it'll hopefully be done. Uh, but we got an Abrams tank over there. Um, we got some EODs there. Got a couple of Merkava tanks there. Um, then we have the president back here meeting with the SEAL Team 6 guy. Uh, we got his robotic guards and then the regular Marines. Um, then we also got uh, some Secret Service around. So we got a couple agents there. Got another guy there, guy there, and a guy there. So uh, those two Secret Service agents and that Secret Service agent, um, those guys were recently added. Um, so that'll probably complete the Secret Service squad. I don't think I'll add any more. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I've gone over them, but I did get these four military guys completed. I bought their armor at uh, Brook World Chicago over the summer. And um, yeah, I finally got the torsos and the legs to complete them. So yeah, that's it for the city up on the table. Now there is more of like the city on the ground. Um, so we'll go into that real quickly. So got all this up here. And uh, it's kind of weird because there's no real way to access anything on the bottom. Um, but down here we have the airport. Um, again, there's no real way to, to get down here. Um, I was always thinking of maybe like creating some sort of like helicopter system or some, some way for people to get down there, but I just never have. Um, so we'll start down here. We have the airport. Someone died there, I guess. Um, then we got a couple Black Hawks here. Then we have just some of your regular planes, passenger planes, got a cargo plane. Seen a couple parts on the door, I don't know why. Uh, got the fire plane, some military in the back. Then got some military over there guarding the door, just in case any intruders try to come in the door. Um, yeah, then we got little like fake knockoff Air Force One thing. Uh, I, I actually got it at uh, the Ronald Reagan Airport in Washington, D.C. on the eighth grade D.C. trip. That was a very fun trip. Um, but yeah, and I don't think there's anything else to mention. Oh, yeah, this cargo plane is currently sitting on the ground because this wall panel here goes like back into like a tiny attic thing behind the wall um to where like the the edge of the roof is and then the edge of this wall is where you can maybe store some stuff uh, so there, there is actually stuff back there weird enough i think it's mostly books though i was hoping to find some valuable stuff but i did not unfortunately but uh, yeah, so this door, I'd opened it and I had like, as you can see the screw sticking out. So I had to like partially screwed it in. So like, it wouldn't be hard to screw back out if I wanted to go in again. I hadn't screwed it in enough and it fell on all of this. Um, in particular, this plane. And so that happened. So now I gotta one day find a part on, on Bricklink to, uh, you know, replace that one. So yeah, another journey of having to find a part for something, as there's a lot of incomplete uh, things in, in this Lego room that I'd like to get done at some point, but yeah, I don't know. Then we'll move on to the uh, Air Force Base down here. So you got uh, some helicopters, uh, got an Apache, just got a couple, uh, they say G7, I don't really know what they are. Um, a lot of these are from this company called Sluban. Um, so, but yeah, these are all obviously fake. Um, but yeah, we have, uh, I think that's, that's not an F-15. I don't know what, I don't even know. Um, then we got a stealth bomber there, but simple little air force base down there. Um, nothing too crazy. If I had more table space, I'd probably put some of this stuff like up on a table, but I don't. So, you know, gotta deal with what you got. 
Um, I was, I just literally thought of something that'd be pretty cool. If I was to get another table, I could put it along that wall and I could make like a bridge going over. That'd look pretty, pretty sick. And then have like the Air Force and uh, the airport over there on that table. But uh, that, uh, that will probably never happen because these tables are overly expensive. So, you know, affording something like that is ridiculous. I'm push this chair in as I talk. Um, but then this isn't really like city-like, it's kind of like extra stuff, but um, got some like construction equipment down here, some miners and yeah, just stuff like that. Extra sandbags as well, some extra signs. Um, and um, then we also got the train, just goes around where kind of like the mock build table thing is. I haven't built a mock in a while, um, but I just, I haven't really had any, uh, any, um, any encouragement to do so. I haven't had any ideas or anything um, in my head to do anything. So uh, if you want to see me build a mock, leave it down in the comments below. But then, uh, yeah, we just have a random train station here. Got one over there. I guess it's like if someone in the random sets wants to get over by the door, they can do so. Um, but then this isn't really technically part of the city, but um, I'll still go over them anyway because they're military before I end this video off. Uh, so yeah, there will be a part two to this. But we do have some extra military over here. We have uh, some Germans from World War II. We have some extra cops and some extra uh, troops. I don't know exactly who they're from. I think they're German, but they're from World War I. And then we have uh, some UN troops. Uh, definitely seen these guys feature on the channel a lot because I really like them. I think they are definitely the best looking um, minifigures in my uh, collection. Aside from maybe the new military guys, I really do like those guys a lot. Um, but yeah, that's just, that, that. I don't know. I'd say they're probably tied. But uh, yeah, that is it for like the city portion, I guess, of this update. Um, I'll probably just put in the title um, that it's just going to be city update or like a room update part one. Um, but yeah, that um, that's going to finish it off. So I will be overviewing everything else in this Lego room in the next video i'll definitely try to make that one under 20 minutes but uh yeah that'll that's gonna be it for this video so hopefully you liked the video drop a like if you did comment down below your thoughts on the city what i should add to it and what mocks i should build in the future because i need i need some encouragement i need i need an idea of what to do um and subscribe to the channel if you are new so thank you so very much for watching and i'll see you in another video